Hi, everyone. I um, wanted to give you a little example of an EDP. Got a couple questions, so I thought the best way to address it might be to do a video. So I am going to show you what the EDP is looking like as you complete it. So if I were working with a student, I called her Sally, psych major, because she is majoring in psychology. Um, she came to see me and she was curious about how to set up her plan to graduate. So we're going to pull out the EDP document. And as you can see, I've started putting in her classes that she is taking her first semester. So these are the courses that she is enrolled in in her first semester. So she's looking, what do I do next semester? OK, now. She's coming in straight as a traditional student with no, no dual credit hours or transfer credits. But if she did, this is where she would put them. And we'd want to total them here because that's going to be important as we're looking at the number of credits completed so that she can graduate on time. So where am I getting all this information? I went to the SMC's website and I pulled up the degree information. And as you can see, I have many windows open, but, oh, it's on this one, sorry. But it's going to look like this, okay? So you've got the Associates of Arts in Psychology. This is just one of our many degree programs. You can choose the one that is closest to what your interests are to use to complete your EDP. So as you can see on this program guide, you have all of the required courses that are for MTA, and you have major specific required courses. So in this particular program guide, all of the classes on the left she will have to take, and these courses here, major specific required courses, on the right she will have to take. And then she can complete 20 credit hours from the list below. So when you go to page two, you're going to see this all completely laid out for you. So with this one, because of the fact we've got program electives, you have to refer back up to these courses and then choose electives that are offered at the appropriate time. A lot of these are offered every semester, but there's some, for example, Psych 205, Psych 215, Psych 296, and Social Work 100 and 120 and 200 are not offered every semester. So you have to double check in the catalog to make sure that they're offered when you want to put them into your EDP. So back to the EDP. Here to go. For it, sorry guys. As I said, I should have shut some windows. I did not. Oh, there it is. So back to the EDP, as you can see. I've plugged in her courses for the first semester, and then I went to that document, that Associates of Arts, and I filled in the ones that required, and then I chose two electives. So I chose 203 and add 215 as the electives. Now, these courses are offered every semester, so it does not matter where I put them in. However, I wanted to do Social Work 100 and Social Work 120 as electives, and I know that Social Work 100 is a fall class and 120 is a spring class. So all of the other courses aside, so basically one through three on these last three semesters are all the required courses and then the bottom ones are the elective. In some programs, there are not gonna be any electives. They will just be filling in exactly what you see on the Associates of Arts package. So like for example, criminal justice, there really won't be any course, you know, program electives, you will just put in semester one through four. Now, the only thing that you need to really pay attention to is what you are in now. This usually comes in the area of math. So if you are not in math 150 statistics, maybe you're in math 102, then you're going to need to put back to the EDP. You're going to need to put instead of um, one of these, you're going to need to put math 150 here. And then you're going to put, you know, off one of these courses. So if you find yourself not quite graduating exactly in the two years, one option is always doing summer classes and you can take one class or two classes and totally make up for any missing or any um, off schedule 
type of um, situation, okay? So hopefully you will find this helpful. I apologize for the Sunday hat. It is Sunday and I um, just, like I said, wanted to shoot out a video. And if you guys have any further questions, just let me know, okay? Thanks guys and have a great rest of the weekend.